sound is something that's around all of us all the time. When we identify those sounds as signifying danger, we've evolved to recognise those sounds and react to them. But in the modern world, we've become ever more used to isolating ourselves from the world around us. For most people, recognising those sounds is something we do every single day, but getting devices to recognise different sounds is something that has traditionally been challenging. Now, one UK-based company claims to have cracked that problem. Audio Analytic has developed a new technology to recognise a wide range of sounds that can then be used as a trigger for a number of different actions. Now, what this technology does is it uses software-based artificial intelligence to identify and recognise everyday sounds, and it can be integrated into a number of products. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how it might work. One kind of common application is in headphones. You're walking down the street, for example, and there's an angry dog nearby. Caution, there is a dog barking nearby. Increasing transparency. So what it would do in that situation is it would recognise the dog barking, would lower the music or cut it out altogether in your headphones and warn you that there was a dog nearby. Another application that it might have is in smart speakers. Most of us have these things around the home now and it can be arranged to listen passively for things like a baby cry. Sounds like there's a bell away. Don't worry, little one. I bust daddy's watch. Fundamentally, sound recognition is very different um, from speech recognition, and we've had to come in and solve some of those fundamental differences. Baby crying sounds very different to another baby crying. There's a huge diversity from when they're six months old through to when they're you know, sort of two years old. But all of that we refer to as baby cries, so there's a, some commonality, and we need to teach those machines the, that commonality. But as we know, AI can only ever be as good as the training data it works with, so they have to capture these sounds live. Naturally, we wanted to witness this firsthand, and what better way to start than with a couple of very good dogs. This is an anechoic chamber, or in this case, a semi-anechoic chamber, and it's designed to absorb sound. And we're here to record these two beauties, hopefully barking on demand. So these waveforms here that I can see on this screen are the representations of what's coming off the microphones in there. And in the middle is the actual dog bark threshold that the system is listening for. And when it identifies them, you should hear it activate. Hey Monty, I can hear you barking. As it is late and you're home alone, I'm going to alert your owner. Turn on the lights and play some jazz because I know how much you like it. Nice. But dogs, as good as they are, are only the beginning. The space here can be used to record an enormous range of sounds, ranging from the dramatic to the more low-key. So that there's no shortcuts to this sort of thing. It is literally, you have to have the data sets. So we've had to go out and collect all that data. So we have the world's largest collection of audio data, 15 million audio event files that help us train that uh, technology itself. And of course, we couldn't leave without taking a sledgehammer to some windows. All in the name of technology, of course. <laughs> 